guys, you're checking out University TV with your host, Jessica, and today we're visiting Hope College, a four-year private liberal arts college that's known for its Christian environment without being forced. Are you guys ready to take the tour? Let's go. Hope College is located in Holland, Michigan, which has been named an All-American City, the second healthiest city, one of America's smartest cities, one of the top five safest cities, and the second happiest place to live in America. Our campus is about two blocks from downtown Holland. The Holland community, the greater Holland community, has about 100,000 people. Um, it's walking distance from downtown, uh, which is a great environment for students with shops and places to eat, things like that. It also allows for a great uh, support environment for our students, whether it's an art event and having members of our community show up to watch or an athletic event. Thanks to the 175 million A Greater Hope campaign, the college has funds for many exciting projects like a new student center, performing arts center, art gallery museum, residential village, and they've even expanded their engineering facilities. Hope's population is around 3,340 undergraduate students, with a small student to faculty ratio of 13 to 1. 60% of the student body is female, plus 44 states and 35 countries are represented. The hope here is to develop the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. The college offers students opportunity to grow and explore one's beliefs, but nothing is required of you. Chapel is voluntary and doesn't conflict with classes. It's held three weekday mornings and on Sunday evenings. Even though it is voluntary, it is packed with an average of 1,200 students. There are also significant international travel opportunities, 200 programs in all going to over 70 countries. I teach a May term course, an intensive four-week course in the Adirondacks of upstate New York where we uh, whitewater raft, flatwater, canoe and kayak, and backpack for two weeks. We meeting 10 students and three other instructors. We try to take a, a holistic perspective when we review a student's application. Um, certainly looking at some of those markers, such as an ACT or SAT score, and, and those are important markers. Um, but really, we want to look at their high school curriculum and make sure that they've been successful in a really rigorous high school curriculum, that they've challenged themselves and really uh, allowed themselves to grow in high school to really prepare them for the college environment. Hope College is frequently recognized as a best value for its high four-year graduation rate, low average student debt at graduation, good student to faculty ratio, and excellent on-campus resources. Hope College offers over 80 majors and pre-professional tracks with exceptional science and health programs. The placement rates into medical and physical therapy programs as well as law school are well above the national average. An impressive 83% of those applying to grad or professional schools indicate they were accepted to their first choice school and 94% to their first or second choice. This is the only private liberal arts institution with national accreditation in all four fine art areas, music, art, dance, and theater. I value so much my relationship with my professors. You're not a number, you're known. I have all my students in my office, every last one of them the first week or two of the semester, get to know them as quickly as possible, call them by name, and every other faculty member, they have their own techniques and tricks. They engage you in several activities, make it fun for you, and I've always noticed too that when you miss a class, for the most part, a lot of the professors check up on you. They're like, hi, we missed you in class today. Here's what you missed. We hope to see you next class, and then from there it's like, you just feel comfortable enough to like ask them any questions. The faculty and students get an opportunity to engage each other both inside the classroom and outside the classroom in ways that just doesn't happen at other institutions. I could probably be doing something else somewhere else. Uh, this is a place where it's really fun to teach. We are Dutchmen. The Flying Dutchman and the Dutch compete at the NCAA D3 level with 20 varsity teams. In fact, they lead the nation in men and women's basketball attendance. Plus, they've even played host to the Women's National Championship Tournament. With 11 traditional residence halls, 13 apartment buildings, and 73 cottages, an impressive 80% of students live in Hope Housing all four years. For those interested in learning about many cultures, there is the Phelps Scholars Program. 
It's a freshman living and learning experience that provides students the opportunity to live with others from many different cultures and nationalities. Is it your hope to fit in? No problem. There are over 70 clubs and organizations. So there's tons of opportunity for leadership experience, which is really valuable for your time after Hope for people to see that you've had the opportunity to be a president of a club and send out those emails and get that experience working with other staff and faculty. This is The Pool, a 115-year-old tradition here at Hope College. and It is one of the longest standing traditions in the country. It pits 18 freshmen against 18 sophomores in an epic three-hour tug of war over the Black River. It draws in hundreds of spectators and has been featured in the Guinness Book of World Records and Sports Illustrated. I'm also a part of a tradition that's just unique to Hope, and that is Nykirk. And it is a long-standing tradition. It's been happening for 78 years. And it's a song, play, and oration competition. So um, I was in play, and it's a really great opportunity where the campus just comes together and builds community. And for 30 days, they practice every single night for the one performance on Night Kirk Night. Want to partake in graduate level original research during your undergrad experience? Hope regularly leads the nation for the number of active grants from the National Science Foundation and was recently recognized by the American Research Corporation for receiving more grant funding than any other undergraduate school during the past 100 years. It's just a really wonderful opportunity for students to get involved and so students have been able to go to the sites and work with the medical professionals and, uh, and then also had chances to present their work at regional and national research conferences. Well, thanks for joining me here at Hope College for another incredible tour. I may be a Florida girl, but I'm thinking now that the tour is over, I may go dip my toes in Lake Michigan. Wish me luck. For University TV, I'm Jessica, and I'll see you next time.